Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be breaking down Wargaming's stream yesterday about update 8.2. Now there's a lot of things to go over here, um, and it includes the event that will be coming out tomorrow, so I am... Whoa, voice crack. So I am going to break this down into two videos. Tomorrow I will have a video about the event, and today I will be talking about pretty much everything else in the update. So, the main thing, of course, uh, of the stream, which everybody is talking about, is, of course, the buffs and the nerfs. There are quite a few major ones here that are going to be happening, all at tier 10, um, basically, here. And there's quite a few things to go over, and I'll give my opinion and everything on these things. So, um, first of all, uh, engine power consumable, uh, the power that, the engine power from that is going to be going down by 10%. The top speed, instead of, I think it's 10 right now, will only be 5 plus, uh, and plus 5% turn rate. So, they're nerfing that some, which does make sense, it's a little bit overpowered. Um, so, you know, I'm not too mad about this. But now we're getting into ones where I am a little bit upset about. So, Mouse losing 150 HP and some accuracy. Personally, I think it's unnecessary. They are nerfing the accuracy because they say people are sniping in the tank and they want them to play up front. I don't think a little bit of an accuracy nerf is going to stop anyone from wanting to snipe in the mouse. Those are just those type of players. And the HP nerf is just sad for me because I think the mouse is just so... It's just so fun and it's kind of almost iconic to have a ton of HP. And now it's basically got the same as the E100. So I don't really agree with this nerf as well. Um, I can kind of see by the HP because it's so much. But honestly, in my opinion, the, ma the mouse actually needed an armor buff and, you know, no nerfs at all. Alright, so... Next one, we have Kronvogen and E5 are both losing 150 HP and some tra Traverse. Now, these aren't massive nerfs, so I'm actually not too angry with these. This isn't like a tank ruining nerf. I don't think the HP was quite necessary. I think they should have nerfed something else. Um, I don't know. I just like having lots of HP in the game. It makes it easier to farm damage. But I do understand the HP nerf on this one. Uh, but the uh, turret, uh, the turret traverse one, I don't quite understand. Um, hopefully, it's not too big of a nerf because the E5 always, uh, already has a very slow uh, turret traverse on the tank. So we'll see how that uh, it ends up going. So, uh, so that's going to be getting a nerf there as well. Um, and next up, we have the 215B. It is going to be losing some DPM. Um, on this thing as well. The E5 is going to be losing some DPM as well. I don't think it's an insane amount, but it is a pretty decent, you know, big nerf here. Uh, I think the E5 is losing quite a bit of DPM, I'm actually pretty sure. I think, or is the E5 losing DPM at all? Um, it might not be. It might be only the 215B. I can't quite remember. Sorry about that. Uh, next, uh, the WZ. So, well, hold on. Those are all the nerfs that are going to be happening. Uh, now we're going to move on to the buffs. So, the first buff we have is the WZ11. 3 GFT is going to be getting improved armor um, and accuracy as well as improved uh, well, the accuracy will be improved while it is turning its turret and improved dynamics. I'm not sure what improved dynamics are but I guess it's an improvement at least. Um, so that's a nice buff there to that tank. It does need it. Next up we have the 263 and this is going to be a very a very nice buff in my opinion. I'm kind of excited for this one. I really love the 263, one of my favorite tanks out there. I think it's OP, but I guess War Gaming doesn't. So the HP of this tank and the armor will be improved as well as the traverse uh, speed. But the accuracy will become a little worse. So it's already a pretty accurate tank, so I don't think it will be too big of a deal. But the armor and the... Uh, uh, the uh, HP are some buffs that I really wish they would have done to the tank when I had, you know, and I'm glad that they finally have some nice buff there. Next up, we have the FV4005 is going to be getting a clip less, uh, one second less, sorry, on the clip reload there. A nice buff there as well. FV4202 is going to have its speed improved to 60 kilometers an hour, and the Scent 701 will be its speed improved by 10. Um, to 50 kilometers an hour. So nice buffs there as well. I think those are good buffs. They were both very slow in my opinion and needed it. So next up we have a really nice buff that I am excited for, which I think is definitely long overdue. Of course it is the E4 buff, getting an armor buff to the cheeks, better turret rotation speed and accuracy while turning the turret. I think it could have a little bit better dispersion slash aim time and a little bit of a gun improvement, you know, in DPM, but um, it's still a buff. It's something the armor needs is it. I think the tank will still suck and it's still going to need some more work, but at least it is something. 
Next up, we have the E50M. It's going to be getting a little bit better reload and a little bit better terrain crossing ability. And our final buff of the day, M48 patent and the M60 are getting a little bit better reload time and penetration. So I think basically all those buffs are definitely needed and good and are long overdue. All the nerfs, some do make sense, uh, whether you like it or whether I like it or not, I don't like them. I don't want any of these nerfs because I love all these tanks and how OP they are. But let's be honest, all these tanks are kind of OP and they did need a nerf. Even though I don't like the nerf and I wish they didn't, they kind of do need it. All right, so moving on from all the buffs and uh, nerfs, um, we're going to be going over to... British crew of voices. So this is just a small change here, which will be adding, well, not the small change, which will be adding British crew voices to the game. You can as well set your language in the game to British English, and you will have, you know, any small changes uh, in the game with, you know, text or whatever like that. All right, so next up on the list of changes we have is, of course, the addition of the new map, Ghost Factory. Now, I think this is quite a good map here, which might even become one of my favorite, if not my favorite map. It seems to be really large, has lots of cool areas, as you can see, like the coal area here. You've got inside of the factory, you can go in there, and I guess that's probably a good heavy, you know, brawl area. You've got, you know, hills over here where you can go hold down. Uh, there's just lots of room over here. You have this bridge you can go under, back in this corner, maybe a TD area. It's lots of cool spots on this map, and it is very large. So I think this is a pretty epic map, and I am excited for trying this map out. I think it looks pretty good as well, and um, definitely seems to be, from what I've seen, you know, from the what they've showed, it seems to be a large map as well. I'm not sure if it actually is, you know, if it's just it looks larger than it really is. But it does look to, uh, to me um, like a very large map. So excited for this new map. And uh, as you can see the inside here, pretty cool area you can fight um, in here and stuff. It'll be interesting to see in tournaments how this map is played on. Um, I'm definitely excited for that. All right, and another thing that will be added this update is going to just be some improvement to avatars for raiding battles. Basically now, instead of just having one avatar for every league, you are now going to have six, guess basically just the stages of being in that league, I assume. And as you can see here, the avatars do look pretty epic. I think they look really nice, um, as you can see here. So that's just a nice addition to raiding uh, battles. All right, so now the last thing I'm going to go over pretty much is just going to be the uh, improvements, you know, graphical improvements. We are getting six tanks this time, the Kronwagen line from tier 6 to tier 10, and there is as well a premium tank, which I can't remember the name of uh, which premium tank they're changing. <laughs> um, uh, what's the premium tank? Uh, I can't remember which premium tank they're tra changing. If anyone knows, uh, go ahead and comment that down below. I would like to know. I just completely forgot what premium tank it is. So, yeah, that as well is going to be a new addition. So, I... Uh, one more thing, actually, hold on, is that the um, there are a few other changes here that I didn't go over here. They're really minor things, basically just uh, improving little things in the game, like the credits now it won't be, you know, like subtracted, but you'll be getting the same amount of credits and stuff like this. Um, and as well, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, something with armor in, in uh, the tank where, you, you know, you look at the statistics, it will change a little. The armor is the same, but they're changing it because it's some uh, weird glitch and stuff with armor. And a couple just things like that that they're changing that will just little improvements to the game. So that is pretty much it for the update, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tomorrow I will have a video about the event. It does start tomorrow. So hope I will see you there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.